action. Hey there, FreshBooks users. This is a really quick video because I'm in the middle of something and I need to capture it. So if you're ready to learn about credits in FreshBooks, so there's a couple different categories of credits, prepayment credits and a credit note. I'm going to teach you about that right now. So listen in as I solve this real problem and hopefully learn something. So I'm in the middle of cleaning up this file. We've got a lot of hand entered expenses over here that she did on a personal card, but I'm specifically looking at this transaction right here. This prepayment credit for $45. So a prepayment credit is actually something kind of weird. It is for a situation when cash is exchanged. So there has to be a transaction on your bank account so you can reconcile it. But it seems kind of odd to me. A better word would probably be deposit. I guess FreshBooks wanted to create this concept of a prepayment credit so you can record if you get some money, but you don't have an actual engagement or an invoice. So let me just show you where you'd create that. All right, I'm over here in the dashboard and you go to create new and you have this option down here called credit. So what's going to happen? You have to pick the credit type. The default is this prepayment, which I think is probably going to be more rare than the alternative. You want to use a credit note whenever you've been paid too much, but you continue to have a relationship with this client. And so you're going to apply that payment to a future transaction. So this is what should have happened with this client of mine. So I dated it for the date that the incorrect prepayment was made, making a credit note, clicking done, and clicking save. Now, one other thing I have to do is I have to go into the invoice where this old one was applied, and I have to delete it. The prepayment one was applied there. Then that's going to allow me to come back into the client. That's how you're going to find the old credit. You're going to come here to credits. And I'm going to delete this prepayment one. That's not correct. Now I'm going to come back to the one that it was applied to. Actually, I need to hit refresh because it still thinks there's 90 and there's only 45. So once I hit refresh on this, I'm going to come down. And it's going to say 45 credit available. And I think she had that marked sometime in September. So we'll just mark it mid-September. Credit note applied from last spring's overpayment. Do not want to send the client this email. And now... The balance is showing what it was, and I don't have anything over on the bank reconciliation. Let me refresh. I've scrolled down to May where it was, and there is nothing here. So what do we learn? Prepayment is whenever someone gives you money before you really even have an engagement at all. You might think of it as a deposit. I would go ahead and create the invoice and just apply that partial to payment, that deposit. But if you need to do the prepayment, you need to think of that one. It has to be used when cash is exchanging hands. Credit note is going to be whenever someone has, you know, paid you 150 bucks and they're only supposed to pay you 100. And you can say, hey, let me just keep the 50 bucks difference and I'll apply it to your next invoice. And whenever you uh, create that next invoice, it's going to say, do you want to apply a credit? This client has a credit and you can do that. And then. The other situation is going to be, you're going to automatically create credit notes. If you ever have an invoice and you add a payment to an invoice that is larger than the invoice itself, then it will create a credit note for you. A few last thing to notes about credits. If anyone does have a credit, if you go to your clients tab up here, it's going to show in this column right here. And if you want to see a report, you can click on reports, scroll down, credit balance, and there would be a report right here. All right, hope that helps. If you ever have any questions about FreshBooks, please reach out. I am here to help. 
These are the exact kind of little pesky problems that are actually perfect for my office hours service. If you're not ready for full outsourcing of your bookkeeping, but want to have access to a professional, please ask me about my office hours as well. All right, signing off for now.